Next on Worcester News tonight, winter weather makes a return with snow and freezing rain hitting the area. Plus, it's a long time coming. We're getting our first look inside one of the city's new schools. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us. I'm Olivia Lemon. Snow and freezing rain is starting to accumulate in parts of central Massachusetts. Tonight, people say while they are used to New England weather, they were hoping this was an April Fool's Day joke. But as our Cam Jandro shows us, this is no laughing matter. Good evening, Olivia. They say April showers bring May flowers, but I don't think they mean snow showers. Tonight, parts of central Massachusetts are expected to see snow and freezing rain. We caught up with a few people in the area to get their reaction on this crazy weather. Uh, you would think it's a joke, but it's definitely not. Uh, it's, it's crazy, and, you know, out here, uh, especially when you go further into Princeton, but when you roll, go, go right through Holden and in Oxford, it's a totally different story. So it's, it's, it's intense weather for sure. I, I'm a snowboarder, so like I wish it snowed, like it snowed a lot more, cause you know, it would watch you some mountain. I live like right next to it, but yeah, it's definitely, definitely hitting us now though. Kind of shocked actually. <laughs> it's April. It's supposed to be spring right now. Right? <laughs> it's horrible. I might have to go to work tomorrow, and I probably won't even make it in. So it's great. <laughs> Now, the National Weather Service says northern Worcester County is in a winter storm warning until 4 p.m. tomorrow. Residents can expect to see sleet, snow, and freezing rain. And believe it or not, we have baseball coming on Monday. Olivia, I'll send it back to you in the studio. All right, thank you, Cam. I know we're all looking forward to it. Some businesses were already turning their sites and their jobs towards spring, but tonight those plans are on hold. LEI Corporation is a landscaping company in central Massachusetts, and in the winter, they plow snow. Crews had already removed plows and sanders off of their vehicles, but today, snow equipment went back on. The company says snow delays their landscaping work. We generally like to get this started, you know, plus or minus mid-March. So the downside of this is we're going to have maybe three to four weeks to do six to seven weeks worth of work. And we'll get a closer look at our local forecast coming up later this half hour. Tonight, the family of a central Massachusetts man is asking for help finding him. He disappeared after Wednesday night Celtics game. 23-year-old Michael Kelleher of Southboro was last seen leaving the TD Garden around 9 o'clock. His mother posted on Facebook he was supposed to meet up with a friend for a ride home, but never showed up. She says his credit and debit cards have not been used since. His cell phone has also not been on. A two-car crash in Auburn injures one driver and causes traffic delays on Selfridge Street Friday afternoon. The crash happened around 3.30 today. The fire department says one person had to be extricated from the car with hydraulic tools. The patient was brought to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Selfridge Street was narrowed to one lane. The scene was cleared about an hour later. A drunk driver crashes into a Worcester police cruiser, sending the officer to the hospital to be treated for minor injuries. Worcester police say the crash happened around 1 a.m. Friday morning. The officer's car was hit at the intersection of Pleasant and Irving Streets. Police say they could smell a strong odor of alcohol coming from the driver. They say 27-year-old Michael Natal's blood level was twice the legal limit. He was charged with operating under the influence and operating to endanger. It's a case getting a lot of play all over the internet. A local man suing Dunkin' Donuts. It's all because of butter. Yes, butter. Leslie Gatiss has the details. I'd like butter, like real butter. So does Jan Palanik. The Worcester area man is holding Dunkin' Donuts accountable. In a pair of lawsuits filed last week, he claims when he asked for real butter on his bagel, he was given a butter substitute. According to court documents, this happened on several occasions at more than 20 Dunkin' Donuts franchises in eastern and central Massachusetts. He says Duncan knowingly charged him an extra 25 cents for it and never told him it wasn't the real deal. If a guy wants to sue and make some money off it, that's more power to him. According to the Boston Globe, he and his attorney thought long and hard about whether to sue. I think it's a little silly, if anything. Not everyone agrees. Very few cases are open and shut in, in the real world, but this, this is a very, this, in my view, this would be a very strong case. 
Consumer rights attorney Ken Quatt says we shouldn't believe the plaintiff was looking to cash in. Instead, he says this case should force consumers to pay more attention to what they are actually getting for their money. They might ask more questions. They might read the fine print. And that all contributes to a more honest and open marketplace. The Boston Globe reports the lawsuits have been settled. Dunkin Brands tells NBC Boston the majority of Dunkin Donuts restaurants in Massachusetts carry both individual whipped butter packets and a butter substitute vegetable spread. And that was Leslie Gatiss reporting an update on the case of a Brookfield trooper who recorded stops without authorization. That trooper now being sued by the man whose arrest sparked an investigation. Aladdin Connolly of Shrewsbury claims trooper Nicholas Holden violated his constitutional rights. Connolly was arrested for drunk driving in 2014. A judge later dismissed the charge. State police are investigating Holden's actions. Punishment could include termination. Construction at the new Nelson Place Elementary School in Worcester is on schedule. Today, school and community leaders got a tour to see the progress being made. Our Roslyn Flaherty has the details. Principal Monica Poitras stands in her future office at the new Nelson Place Elementary School in Worcester. Which is probably twice as big as the space I have. Friday, school and community leaders got a chance to tour the more than 100,000 square foot facility. The school is happening and it is very exciting to walk through it and see so many features and, and the space that it has and how many opportunities it's going to provide for our students. The current school was first built in 1924 and has expanded, but is no longer big enough to accommodate students and staff. We, we're very crowded. I have to be honest that there are some, you know, some people that have closets. Poitras says construction began three years ago and the building is about 50% complete. But they've been totally on schedule and they have, it has not disrupted our learning one bit. Poitras says she has had a lot of input in picking out what she wanted in the school. When we were designing this building, we started to think about ch all children's needs, whether they have, you know, um, a disability or they may have, you know, ADHD or the different learning styles. The $54 million building is 100% green. The building includes features like new furniture, new teacher technology and play areas. Having all this technology, we're hoping to move to a blended learning environment and doing more collaboration that way. Um, and that's their world. Their world is technology. The new school will be twice the size of the old Nelson Place. It will be able to serve 600 kids from kindergarten through sixth grade and will also include a preschool. Poitier says the school community is excited about their future. It's been a long time coming from them. Rosalind Flaherty, Worcester.